See you, Sylvia. Morning, everybody. Now, the dollar overnight has consolidated its gains above 79 US cents. It got to a high of just under 79 and a half overnight. More on all of that a little bit later. But the catalyst for the dollar's rise was partly the Reserve Bank minutes yesterday, which discussed what is the real neutral interest rate in Australia. Now, the RBA's cash rate right now is 1.5%, but inflation is 2.1%. So the real rate after inflation, if you like, is negative 0.6%. That's 1.5 minus 2%. 2.1% inflation. You can see it there. But in giving a more upbeat assessment of the economy, the RBA says the true real interest rate should be positive 1% and not negative. It also says before that real rate happens, as the economy normalises, inflation should pick up to around 2.5%. So at its 1% real interest rate to 2.5% inflation, and you get a cash rate from the RBA of 3.5%. Or, if you like, eight interest rate rises of a quarter of a percent each from where we are today. Now, I think there's a real market from the RBA for households and businesses to not expect interest rates to remain at record lows forever. It's giving you a big hint. You should be paying off your mortgage as though interest rates are already two percentage points higher to stress test your family finances, if you like. So say you've got a half million dollar mortgage over 25 years at four and a half percent. The monthly repayments right now are $2,779 a month. Now, if you use the RBA formula that rates rise two percentage points to six and a half percent, the repayments rise to $3,376 a month. That's almost $600 a month more. Could you cope with that? Well, why not try? Make the extra payments and pay down your loan more quickly while the rates are low. The RBA has given you the hint, so why not take it? The worst that can happen is that you pay off a bit more of your home loan than you otherwise would, and that can't be a bad thing. The dollar, 79.2 US cents. Dow Jones down 55 points.